Welcome. We're excited that you're here and interested in Santa Clara. We're sorry that you can't be present to see our beautiful campus and facilities. Most of all, we're sad that you can't meet our wonderful faculty and students. This video is to help you get more familiar with general engineering. So let's start with our programs. We have three programs in general engineering. Uh, we have a major in general engineering, which leads to the BS in engineering. And we have two minors, a general engineering minor and a brand new minor in technical innovation, design thinking, and the entrepreneurial mindset. All of our programs are comprehensive, multidisciplinary, and customizable. In general, this major is for students who are thinking about more flexibility than can be granted from one of the traditional disciplines in engineering. For example, you might like this program if you have an interest in various engineering disciplines, if you would like to diversify your skill set as much as possible. What we give is a strong engineering core, but then the ability to wear a lot of hats and be strong in other interpersonal skills, such as project management, leadership, and time management. If you're interested in furthering your engineering knowledge as it relates to engineering's impact on society and your specific learning pursuits. General engineering, because of its comprehensiveness, because of its customizability, is largely for people who are very self-directed, highly motivated, and this allows them to pursue a customized... Let's learn a little bit more about our programs. This is our major in general engineering, which results in a Bachelor of Science in Engineering. Notice it doesn't say general engineering, it's just engineering. This is a sample for your plan. And what you can see is that we take the fundamentals uh, in math and science for our first two years. And we also get a very strong engineering core. So we do things like programming, graphics, statics, and circuits, among some others, to give us a very broad and strong engineering core. At Santa Clara, we also care about the whole person and developing this whole person. And so we also have the SCU core, and that's what's illustrated in purple here. The main difference between our program and others is that we have these concentration blocks here. This is how we customize our program to fit your own interests and passions. Some common concentrations include entrepreneurship, where the intersection of engineering and entrepreneurship meet. This actually is so popular that it resulted in our newest minor. A lot of our students are very interested in sustainability and the intersections between all the different engineering disciplines at the same sustainability. We've had several graduate in human-centered design, making sure that we are empathizing with communities or customers. Uh, we have product design, mechatronics, which is already at the intersection of several disciplines, in particular mechanical, electrical, and computer engineering. Um, and then you can always choose to concentrate in any one of the engineering disciplines. One of my graduates this year is uh, pursuing a concentration in mechanical engineering, but she wanted more of the project management and leadership aspects that general engineering could offer. Next, we have a general engineering minor. This is largely focused on the students outside of engineering as a way to build their engineering knowledge and skills and use that in conjunction with their, with their non-engineering major. And so some of the skills that we give them are in that engineering core, programming, static, circuits, and graphics, but it's also customizable and you can take uh, two to four classes in an engineering area of interest. Our newest minor is specifically geared for engineers. What we found is that we had a significant number of engineers who were interested at that intersection between engineering and business or entrepreneurship. What we did was make a minor that has interests in product innovation and prototyping, business and commercialization, design thinking and entrepreneurial fundamentals. In essence, we found that students were interested in the entrepreneurship minor that the business school offers, but it was inaccessible to our engineering students because of their full schedule. And so we took some of those classes in conjunction with the business school and chopped them up into one unit segments so that they could fit into our engineering students' schedules. And so a lot of these classes are one unit. They often meet maybe a Saturday, maybe only three Saturdays a quarter until they're done. It gives them an introduction into some of these different areas. So that is a little bit of an introduction into our programs. Next, let's take a look at some example courses that you would take as part of this program. So general engineering, we've made a real focus to try to make our curriculum modern and project-based. And so every single year that you're at SCU, you will take project-based courses in engineering. 
So some examples would be Engineering 1, which is our introduction to engineering class, which you take in the first year. Engineering 2, which is a design and prototyping class that actually takes place in the Maker Lab, your sophomore year. Engineering 110, which has real partners in the community, your junior year. And then finally, our senior design project, which takes place your senior year and is our capstone culminating project. So let's look at a couple of these courses. So this is our introduction to engineering. There is two units. One is a lecture unit and one is a lab unit. The lecture unit kind of introduces you to the engineering profession, some of its disciplines, but also content like uh, engineering ethics and entrepreneurship. The lab is designed to give you the hands-on skills and building that you want as uh, an engineer. And it gives you an introduction to each of the different disciplines we offer here at SCU in different flavors as you go through these de design activities. One of the primary uh, considerations for the lab is teamwork and communication. We're trying to build up those interpersonal skills in addition to some of your hands-on building skills. It's all design-based, and so almost every lab you'll have a new design activity and you'll be working with your teams to complete it. Another course is Engineering 2. This is typically taken their sophomore year, but we've had everywhere for first years to super seniors in this class. We also have a variety of non-engineers that take this class, which is always exciting. Uh, so this takes place in our Maker Lab, which is currently over in Guadalupe Hall. And uh, these are some of my students and some of their projects that they completed for Engineering 2. Uh, Engineering 2, we focus on four major pieces of equipment that almost every Maker Lab has. It's, this includes the vinyl plotter, the laser cutter, 3D printer, and the carving mill. And so they get to design an introductory project on each of those machines. And then there's a couple of more integrated projects, including the final, where they have to use three out of the four pieces of equipment to manufacture their final project. Engineering 110 is our community-based engineering design course. This class is about 50 to 60% engineers and the variety and a variety of other students come from either the College of Arts and Science or from the business school. Um, the best part about this project, this class, is that they have a real partner in the community and they're actually designing for that customer. And so the customers come in first day of class, they give a presentation on their community and some of the needs that they have. The students give us preferences for what project they'd like to work with. And then we form teams that are both uh, vertically integrated. So making sure that say not four seniors are on a team or four first years are on a team. Um, and then making sure that we have the skill set needed to help with that project. And so it might be a, a mechanical engineer that's paired with a computer science major who's paired with a marketing major, right? So uh, we're trying to give the customers what they need and make sure that the students not only grow their own skill set, but also have that customer um, and work on some of their interpersonal skills. Uh, one of the last examples here is our senior design. Uh, we just started this class a couple years ago as we were getting more and more majors. Um, all of our seniors always work on multidisciplinary projects. Um, here's a couple examples from the last few years. So this was an autonomous electric golf cart. So they put in a variety of sensors. They made sure that they could actually drive the car safely. Um, and it was a really big project um, and our students did really well at it. Uh, two of the projects this year, this is a heavy lift drone. So right now this was the quadcopter that they built for testing because the seniors aren't quite finished yet. Um, but what this will ultimately be is a dodecacopter heavy lift drone. And so it's going to have 12 motors on it and it's going to have the ability to lift up to 55 pounds. Um, the project was uh, initially scoped for agriculture. So they're going to attach a camera, an IR camera, and they're going to try to measure the water needs of a field from above. Uh, this one is a stadiometer, which is a way to measure height. And so we're targeting pediatric clinics and finding them a new, faster way and a portable way to measure height of pediatric patients. As you can see, our projects are multidisciplinary, they're comprehensive, um, and these are, give them valuable skills moving forward. Um, I should mention that all of our seniors also take a one unit seminar course along with their senior design. It's called Engineering 163. Um, and this also helps them think about their project from a business model standpoint and helps them identify the needs of their customer and how to meet those needs and then frame their project within a business model, which is something that general engineering has that I don't think any of the other majors have here at Santa Clara. That's an example of some of our courses. Uh, if you want to meet a few of our faculty, I've put together a page of some of the faculty that work in our area. Uh, so this is me. I'm the director of general engineering and I teach a wide variety of these courses. Um, 
Dr. Doyle here helps me in Engineering 1 with the first year students. Uh, Dr. Schaefer teaches the Engineering 111 class, which is another community outreach. This is more based in STEM curriculum. And then Matt Gado is our um, ethicist. He teaches our Engineering 19 class that also satisfies the ethics requirement for our, for our core. Um, these over here are um, instructors that uh, do other things during their regular day jobs. So for example, Dr. Kitts is a professor in the mechanical engineering department. He's also the director of the robotic systems lab, but he teaches some of our engineering courses in entrepreneurship, in mechatronics, in control systems, robotics, um, and helps us out in general engineering. Uh, Dr. Suri also has a full-time appointment in bioengineering. Um, and he teaches some of the intersection between bio innovation and design, and that also is useful for our general engineers. Both Dr. Quinn and Jeff Oda are examples of adjuncts that work in our program who uh, largely support our um, entrepreneurship minor. So these are working professionals who come back and lend their expertise to our undergraduate students. I asked all of our um, faculty listed here what they enjoy most about teaching at SCU. And here's some of what they say. You see examples about how you get to work on real world projects with real customers imparting real value. Things like the teacher scholar model that helps new generations of students interact with the world around them. We focus on sustainability and collaboration. We have a commitment to the whole person. And overall, they enjoy working with our students. Now we're gonna tell you a little bit about some of our students. Ultimately, our students are the reason we do what we do. And so we wanted to help you meet some of them and see what they're capable of. So this is uh, Mariah Manzano. Uh, she's one of our entrepreneurship minor students. So you can see how she talks about uh, growth in her leadership, design thinking and project management skills. Alex is one of our majors. Uh, he's actually at the intersection between engineering and filmmaking. He had tried both mechanical and computer engineering before he found his niche in, in general engineering. So you can actually see one of his films here. Layla was one of our students in Engineering 111. Remember, this is our STEM outreach. The student teams are helping with STEM curriculum at some of the elementary and middle schools around the area. And one of the things she learns was that privilege is not something to be embarrassed by, but utilized to create equity in our local and, glo and global communities. Kayala was a student in my Engineering 110 class. This was our community-based engineering design class where the student teams are actually designing for a community. And one of the things she took away is that it um, was very helpful for her as she prepared for a global abroad trip to Morocco. It also set her up to be a leader on her student design team. So what we take away from this is that our students are doing very well. They are using the courses in the way that they're intended and gaining valuable skills, not only in project management and leadership, they're also helping to evaluate the intersection of their interests, whether it's between entrepreneurship and engineering or filmmaking. Finally, to close out this video, I wanted to cover a couple spotlight areas that SCU has to offer. These are ones that directly work with general engineering. So the first one I wanted to uh, mention was our Grand Challenge Scholars Program. This is a brand new program. We just started this in September 2019. And what it does is that this uh, pairs with a national organization. So the National Academy of Engineering has set out these 14 Grand Challenges for, for society. So this is a little small, but you can kind of see some of these 14 challenges. They're areas where engineering will help to have solutions to some of these problems. And so our program here, the Grand Challenge Scholars Program at SCU, just requires you to fulfill five competency areas. So we have talent, multidisciplinary, multicultural, social consciousness, and entrepreneurship. These are all directly aligned with values that we teach at Santa Clara. The talent can be research projects, multidisciplinary. We already mentioned that our senior design projects are always multidisciplinary. So working at the intersection of lots of different disciplines. Multicultural understanding and empathizing with cultures that are not your own to make sure that the technology is feasible and workable for them. Social consciousness, trying to help out humanity and improve society. And then this entrepreneurship, helping technology get to market in a responsible way. So if you're interested in this program, here's a QR code that you can scan. This is our website, uh, but this is a brand new program that we're rolling out as part of general engineering that any student can apply to. 
and hopefully will build their skills in those five competency areas. Okay, so other highlight areas. Our bioinnovation lab that's run by Dr. Suri. Dr. Suri teaches in the bioengineering uh, department, but then also in general engineering. Robotic system lab, which is run by Dr. Chris Kitts, who teaches in mechanical and also general engineering. That helps with some of the mechatronics intersections and robotics projects, which require multidisciplines. Uh, the maker lab, where we have some courses, things like engineering too, but then a lot of our students need for rapid prototyping as they design products. And then finally, the Frugal Innovation Hub, which focuses on bringing technologies to the underdeveloped world and making sure that they meet some of the 10 core competencies of frugal innovation, which include things like last mile, accessibility, ruggedness, and affordability. That's it about our program for now. Um, we're sad we can't see you here. My contact information is here, jkaczynski at sc.edu, and feel free to reach out around any questions that you may have. Thanks for watching.